Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining a new edition of our interviews with policy experts and project leaders in the field of the blue economy. Today, we're having Mathilde Kraft from the French Secretariat General de la Mer, who is responsible for the coordination of the West Mopoco project. Hello, Mathilde. How are you? Hi, Irene. I'm well, thanks. Great. OK, so let's start with the first question. West Mopoco is about better preparedness to oil and chemical pollution in the Mediterranean Sea. In particular, this project involved partners from Algeria, France, Italy, Malta, Morocco, Spain and Tunisia. People can read all about it on your website. But if you could mention one achievement, Mathilde, what would it be? What, what are you most proud of? I think I'm, I'm most proud of the, the community we've built around the project. I know most of the national administrations involved in the Western Mediterranean were not uh, particularly used to working in, in a project setting like that. So that was really new and, and this has got really, really great results. Now we, we all have this new cooperation mechanism. Uh, we know each other much better how, how everyone works. Um, and we also have new working relations, for instance, with other uh, regions, with the North Sea and, and the Baltic. And, and I think this will have the long, most uh, long lasting impact for us. We, we don't know um, what other opportunities for cooperation will, will spur out of it and, and synergies. So I think this West Mopoco community really is uh, the best achievement so far. Great. Well, just like the WestMed initiative, WestMed Boko is implemented through an international multi-actor partnership and it gathers countries from both shores of the Mediterranean, northern and southern. So what is your main lesson learned while working in such a setting? Um, I think we really saw the benefit from all uh, being eligible to the same uh, grant. So we're very fortunate because the um, Union Civil Protection Mechanism also funds directly um, countries, eligible countries from the South Shore. So um, Algeria, Morocco and Tunisia could be fully part of all the um, implementation of the action, the um, decision making in, into it. Um, and that really, really helped uh, to have um, well a common understanding of what we were doing and a shared ownership of um, the activities and the results. Um, and I think the second great lesson of West Mopoco is that was that um, working on existing cooperation frameworks really, really um, helps in, um, well, the day to day activities, but also in ensuring that there will be um, a well a continuation to or action and that our results can be shared with um, the rest of the Mediterranean. OK, I agree fully. <laughs> so, West Mopoco officially ended in 2021. Are the partners involved planning any follow-up or capitalization activities? Yes, we have a lot, lots planned. Um, some of our partners are already um, well trying to share the results. For instance, our colleagues in, in Tunisia are presenting some of our activities to uh, our Libyan um, colleagues uh, for um, the national uh, contingency planning assessment uh, with the Mediterranean Oil Industry Group. Um, but then um, most of our activities will be presented to or, or more attorney and colleagues through Rampex focal points meeting. So through that, there will be um, duplication, for instance, of uh, some of our activities um, or results will be adapted um, by the focal points. Um, and I know that we also have a lot planned for future projects. Uh, for instance, uh, large scale exercise to operational operationalize or results in, in the coming years. Um, so yes, there's a lot. Indeed. <laughs> OK, so do you have a final message or word of advice for our viewers from around the Western Mediterranean? Yes, thank you, Irene. I just wanted to stress on, on the importance and, and urgency to better protect our marine environment in the Mediterranean. And, and we know now that there are so many um, experts and passionate people in the Mediterranean ready to work together. So I really hope that, um, well, collectively, we'll find solutions um, and um, that new projects and will evolve. 
Great. OK, thanks, Mathilde. This is all from my side. It has been really enlightening. And to the viewers, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this interview. And if you're interested in learning more about Blue Economy in the future, please don't hesitate to visit the Westnet website and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye, Mathilde. Bye, Irene. Thanks. Thanks.